What is going on guys, Snickle here, and today I have another Platinum Trophy video for you guys. Today I'm going to be getting the Platinum Trophy in Guitar Hero Live for the PlayStation 4. Now the last trophy that I do have to get is Replay King, which is to score 20 million points in Quick Play. Now as I was playing through the GHTV mode of this game, I thought that there was going to be a good selection of songs. I was very disappointed when I got to the Quick Play because it was literally just the songs from the single player and nothing else. So it was a very small selection and they were very disappointing songs. I do want to note that the servers for this game are officially down. They shut down December 1st, 2018. So if you are wanting to go for this Platinum, it is now unobtainable. Just want to make a note of that right now. Anyway, with all of that being said, let's get right into this video. So again, I was streaming this on Twitch. I am streaming all my Platinum Trophies on Twitch. So if you haven't gone ahead and followed me already, go ahead and follow me. There is a link in the description below. Now, there was a joke going on in the stream because I made a 10-song playlist, and I didn't know when I was actually going to get the Platinum in this playlist. But the big thing was, oh, play the Skrillex song because there is a Skrillex song in this game. And I was like, I, I don't think I added this to the playlist. I don't remember adding this to the playlist. Uh, and it turns out I did add it to the playlist, and it was the song that I played to get the Platinum. So, you know, what, what are the... Uh, coincidence of that happening. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about the game. So, this isn't exactly the first Guitar Hero that I wanted to play or Platinum on my account. Uh, that That's not really what I intended on doing, but I'm actually glad that I did it. Uh, the reason that this isn't the first one I wanted to play was because there's a lot of other great Guitar Hero games that are on the PS3 that I was planning on playing before this. But since the servers were going down, I, it kind of forced me to play this, and I wanted to get the Platinum anyway. Even though I did the multiplayer and everything, I just wanted to get the Platinum and get it out of the way. Now, the, now the reason that I'm glad I did this first compared to the other Guitar Heroes is because... The guitar for this game is a lot different than what you would see on the PS3 for like Guitar Hero 3, Guitar Hero Metallica, Guitar Hero 5. All of those, they use the traditional guitar with the five buttons on the fret. This one actually has six buttons on the fret. It has um, two layers of three buttons. So it's a little bit uh, more interesting to play, I would say. But the reason I'm glad I did this one before any of the other ones is just because I got used to that guitar. So now that I um, am done with the game, I don't have to go back to it. I don't know if they'll release another guitar here game on the ps4 probably not because i think this one flopped pretty hard but with all that being said uh the reason that i'm glad i did this one first is because the guitar for this one is different than any other game so now that I've done it, I can now go play all the other Guitar Hero games, Rock Band games and everything, and all the guitar is the same for all those, so it should be pretty easy to get through and uh, get used to it, uh, because getting used to this guitar was um, interesting to say the least, uh, and then having to do those expert songs was definitely very interesting, but I got used to the guitar, and now it's over, I don't really have to, uh, have to ever use it again, so... I don't have to be worried about it. But yeah, I do plan on doing all the other Guitar Hero games. Uh, and uh, I would say all the other instrument-based games. Because the next one that I want to do is Band Hero. But it's basically Guitar Hero except with modern music. But uh, but yeah, I'm glad to get this done. It was quite the experience. I would say that this is probably the easiest rhythm-based game. Besides maybe like a few Rock Band games. Like Rock Band 2. But uh, the only thing that really sucks about this is those million... Um, strums that you had to get on GHTV that really really sucked and a saw came in clutch for that one for me I did use a saw method which I I guess is I don't know I'm kind of like up in the air about that um because it kind of it just sucks it just sucks I I did open strum some of these and try to do as much as I could but it got to the point where I was like I'm not gonna sit here for hours a night and just open strum and get this done because I could get around a uh, thirty to forty thousand strums an hour if I was just open strumming. But I, I matter of fact, it was probably more than that. It was probably like fifty. It was probably like fifty thousand an hour if I just sat there and open strum. But I, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna do all that. I wasn't gonna do all that. So. I'm glad to have it done, and I'm uh, looking forward to moving on to the next game. So there we go. We finished up the song. The The trophy pops after the song because that's when all the points calculate. So uh, if, if you have to do this trophy still, there you go. There's that. So there's Replay King. Glad to get that done. And uh, the Platinum Trophy, it took a while to pop on the PS4. It kind of scared me. But uh, there is the Platinum Trophy. It's kind of cockeyed. Kind of kind of drives me crazy, but it's whatever. But anyway, let's take a look at this list.
Here it is 100% with a Platinum, no DLC or anything. And like I said earlier, this is probably the easiest rhythm-based game or plastic instrument game that you can play out there. Others being Band Hero, Rock Band 2, um, Guitar Hero 5 maybe, Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. They're pretty, they're pretty up there, but this one is probably by far the easiest. It does suck because you have to get used to that different guitar, but it is the easiest. But the trophy list in and of itself, it's pretty interesting. You have to play the GHTV mode, which is now down. You had to play a decent amount of that get 100 million points which points were pretty easy to get in that you had to do a few things um a few songs on expert 100 percent you had to get a few songs on 100 percent do a few things on ghtv it was a very uh it was a varied list uh a, i was gonna say a very varied list but it's a varied list a uh, very interesting list and very enjoyable anyway here is the profile trophy level 36 40 percent got 9122 total trophies got 6432 bronze 1958 silver 610 gold 122 platinums and like i said 9122 total trophies and here is the platinum trophy itself just called platinum trophy it annoys me how that trophy is cockeyed but the um the pick is also cockeyed as well so i think it's like symmetrical in a way but it is it, it does kind of annoy me um I guess that's just OCD or whatever they call it kicking in. I do have that happen sometimes. But, uh, again, great platinum, very enjoyable. The, the new guitar was a little annoying to get used to, and it kind of scared me going into it because that's one of the things that I was sitting there, and I was like, I don't know if, you know, I want to do it, but but the thing that has me on edge right now is that the new guitar that had me on edge because I was so used to the old traditional guitar hero guitars and rock band guitars with just the five buttons, but having the six buttons on the two, uh, two different levels on the fret that, that kind of, that kind of scared me a little bit. But as I was playing through the GHTV mode, I got up to advanced in about a week. I went from medium to an advanced in about a week. So I, I got used to it. It was probably less than a week, honestly. Then once I got to on, it got into advanced, I then started playing through, and then eventually in GHTV you have to play on expert for like 50 stars or something. So I played on expert for a little bit. It was actually, it was annoying, but I, I was getting through songs, and then I went and played back on advanced. And I was like, wow, this is pretty easy. And then I had to play on expert for four songs in quick play because you have to get a hundred percent on four songs in quick play. But all in all, it's a very enjoyable game. The the trophy list is varied. There's a lot of stuff that you have to do, but it's reasonable. Again, it is an ultra rare platinum, as you can see, uh, and on PSN profiles, it's ultra rare as well. But that's just because it's one of these plastic instrument games. If you if you don't know anything about these plastic instrument games, they're all like ultra rares and stuff because there's just so many people that played them and then never go back to it because of difficulty and stuff like that. So it's it's very nice to have. It's very nice to have done. But now I'm going to start getting into these other games again, starting with Band Hero and then just working down the Guitar Hero and Rock Band list after that. So uh, it, it was enjoyable to get done. If I had to rate this trophy list out of 10 for a difficulty, I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10 because getting through, like literally getting through everything in the game is very easy. You can play it on any difficulty that you want to. There's only two trophies that are related to, well, I'd say three, um, but the one is pretty easy. So there's only really two trophies that are related to playing on the hardest difficulty in the game. That being the one in GHTV to get like 50 stars or something, 20 or 50, I think it's 50. Getting 50 stars playing on expert, but you're guaranteed like two stars a song if you just sit there and attempt to play it. So it, that just takes time. The other one, which is kind of the make it or break it for the game for most pe people for difficulty is the getting um, four 100% on songs on expert in quick play. So that can be a little difficult, I guess. That's the most difficult thing in the game. So that's why it's up at like a six, just because you have to have a little bit of skill. If there was, if you didn't have to do that, this would be like a three out of 10. But seeing that you have to get those 100% completes on expert, um, in quick play that, that, um, that bumped it up. But, uh, again, I did note it at the beginning, this platinum is unobtainable. So if you are going to go for it, you can't do anything related to the GHTV mode. You can do everything else. If you want to do everything else, you can do everything else, but you cannot do anything related to the GHTV mode. I just want to note that time it took to platinum this, um, I would say, it depends what uh, method you use for the million strums in GHTV, but I would say if you disregard that, like just that aspect of it, it's probably like 80 hours. Now, if you do the open strums or whatever method you do for the other thing, that can add on. But for me, at least using the saw, it was probably a total of about 100 hours to get this platinum. So it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of playing going on, but it wasn't 
uh, that bad at all, and it was very enjoyable. It, it was a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning, but once I learned to do it, it was very enjoyable. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. If you've platinum this game and you have any experiences with it, uh, be sure to leave that in the comments below. I love to read that stuff. Down in the description below, you'll find all types of links to my Twitch, my Twitter, other videos like this. So if you want to go check any of that stuff out, I would really appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like. If you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you all around sometime soon.